Listen to me, you don't no longer live in a world that you think you're going to run free. You're going to have to learn to plant your flag and say, this is where it stops. My brother and sister in Christ, you have a choice and there are consequences for making the wrong one. You need to understand that now. You need to stay closer to the church than you ever have. My brother and sister in Christ, listen to me. Listen to what I'm about to tell you. You need to make sure you do your homework. It's not up to me to proclaim what the president is or is not doing. That executive order that was signed in March to go to a digital currency, you can dismiss it. You can just say it ain't got nothing to do with me. You may even be foolish enough to think that digital currency is your answer. Do as you please. Go back and read that document. You don't think he brought in 87,000 agents. Tiger Stadium. He brought it in for digital currency, my friends. Break out the number of parishes for the 87,000 agents. That's 20 per parish per county in the United States. Why do you think they have the right to issue their own warrants? Why do you think they're gunned and manned and have badges? You think that digital currency, read the law that's coming into play. Seven months from the inception of the executive order, October, they will issue the new digital currency. It will be in play by December, by the start of the year. You will lose total control of your world. They're going to issue a new type of credit system called a social credit system. In the law itself, the executive order, there are seven responses favorable if you decide to buy an electric car. You stay green. And, there are, and if you go across these things, then you're going to lose credits. I'm speaking from what I've read. You need to do the same. Y'all think I'm making this up. Oh, you think we live in a world where, oh man, don't worry about it, Father. It's football season. And life's going to be good. We got this. Don't you worry about it. I'm telling you what's coming. I'm telling you if you do not pick your head up and you and I do not learn to start praying, that we don't learn to go back to confession and you don't go to adoration and spend some time and you don't go to the sacraments so that you can receive the grace, you're not going to have your head up long enough to understand that you can't make the decision. Ask yourself this question, why in the Sam Hill would the saints warn you and I, Pio, Faustina, Pius, and Paul, two of our best popes, say that there's going to be a warning so that God can warn you of what is to come. If there wasn't a choice for you to make once it comes, why would you illuminate my head if it wasn't to tell me what is about to come? There would be no reason. I am begging you to pick your head up. I am begging you to make the right choice. I am begging you to learn to bend your knee and you need an eye and need to come together and pray as one. If you need to go to confession, you find me. I don't care what you got to do. You call, you air mail it, you send a pigeon, you air ride it. I don't care. You come find me or Howard or Miles or Juan so that we can hear your confession. The closer you stay to Christ, 
the better your decisions will be, the better choice you will make. Listen to what I'm telling you. The world is out of control. Do you not see that? Oh my God! Did he not tell us what's good is going to be bad and what bad is no good? My brother and sister Christ, do what you do best. Stay close to Christ. Ask yourselves one question. Why now? Why us? Why now? Why us? I just buried seven people in about 20 days. Not one of them got a warning. Not one got shot across the bow. Why would you and I be chosen? Why us? Why now? Because time is short and of the essence. My brother in Christ, I am not a doomsdayer. I am not a soothsayer. I do not drink Kool-Aid. All I know, it's logical that if the good Lord does not stick his finger in what we're doing, we will not see the forest for the trees. Do you know, do you know in Germany right now, the bishops voted over two-thirds. They didn't get the one vote. Over two-thirds of the, of the bishops in Germany voted for same-sex marriage. And they're going to vote publicly on Monday. I bet you they get everybody but about five bishops. And I can tell you the ones. And you're telling me that we live in a good world? Do what you and I do best. Stay close to the church. Hang in there, my brother and sister Christ. I'm telling you. The teachings of the church are true. Make the right choices. And the only way you can make it is stay close to him. You keep your head up. You finish what we started. Ask yourself, why now? Why us? Why you? Why me? Because he's called us. Amen? Amen. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, amen.